Let's go see what's going on with Shakur Stevenson. Who missed weight by 1.6 pounds today. Let's go watch that. He's uh now he's no longer he no longer has his WBC and his WBO belt at 130. Only Kansakao can win them. And he didn't even try to make the weight. He didn't even try to make the weight. Full of uh, up and coming prospects. Remember, a lot of people felt that uh, Contacal beat Valdez before Shakur did. But yeah, um, it's been long talked about that Shakur was, wasn't going to stay too long at 130 pounds. But now 135, you know, was looking real good. You know, Haney goes on, beats Cambosos, then goes on to fight Loma. Winner of that fights Shakur. No, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I'm going to be here streaming during the main event of Joe Joyce and uh, Joseph Parker Saturday. And tomorrow night. This is the Friday night card. This is tomorrow night. I'm going to be streaming during the main event of this as well. A lot of people are saying Robson has a chance. But yeah, 135's got some fights. You know? I'm interested in what Tank's going to do. Tank's got some legal troubles going on. Allegedly, he did a hit and run with a pregnant woman. And she doesn't want to take a deal. A plea deal. She wants him like in jail. That's the rumors that's going around. For the WBC WBO Junior Lightweight Championships of the World. Let's meet the challenger. Haney definitely on his way to uh 140. And yeah, fucking Keyshawn showed up with the poo shiesty. That's what the kids call them. The shiesty mask. Where they tell you you go into the hood, you gotta take your mask off before you go into the store. Hey, let's go full screen for the weigh-in. Thanks for the super chat, Lamuka. I'm gonna read that in a minute after the weigh-in. Lamuneka. 129.6 but nice so nice solid prospect card it should be like really like exciting i'm really interested in the main event WBC, WBO, i wonder what the fine is going to be for shakur how dare you stevenson Look, you knew he just said, fuck it. He didn't even want to try to make the weight. I mean, he don't look all sucked out, you know, or nothing. He would have been the third fighter to show ass at this weigh-in. Two other fighters had to get naked. So even though I didn't stream during the weigh-in, I did watch it. Mm. My bad. 131.6, 131.6 for the champion. Here it is, our main event 12 rounds for the WBC, WBO Junior Lightweight Championship of the World from Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Robson Obrava Conceição from Newark, New Jersey, Shakur Stevenson. 12 rounds for the WBC WBO Junior Lightweight Championship of the World.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is our main event coming to you live tomorrow night from the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. The challenger from Salvador Bahia, Brazil, Robson Obrado Conceição, the champion from Newark, New Jersey, Stevenson. 130's always been kind of a weird division anyway. You know, I'm talking about like in this day and age because you can't like, you know, like is uh, uh, too many politics involved in the division. Let me pull up the rankings real quick. <clears throat> you know, and I had my gut, like I had a gut feeling, you know, he wasn't going to make, I mean, uh, not make, but he wasn't going to stay at 130 for long. Because he was already talking about before he even moved up to 130, he was talking about 135. You know, but 135 is going to be deep, especially for his next fight. What I would imagine would be maybe, you know, March, April or so. Maybe February. We were in September going October. Yeah, maybe February. January, February, March. You see what I'm saying with um, uh, Hector Garcia beat Roger Gutierrez, didn't he? To be the WBA champion. Joe Cordina and Rakamov. When are they supposed to be fighting? They had a date, didn't they? November the 5th on um, Bivol and Ramirez. And then his, uh, his uh, mandatory would have been Archie Sharp. So it's just it's it's a division that's just pretty much all over the place a little bit, you know, with basically what three different promotional outfits involved with um, Shakur being the WBC. Well, former WBC, WBO top rank, Joe Cordina, Matchroom, Hector Garcia over on PBC. You know, but on that they're 135, you know, 135 is pretty. It's pretty evenly matched promotionally a little bit. Now, we're not talking about financial, like how big they are financially. For example, for um, top rank, they got Devin Haney, George Cambosos, Vasil Lomachenko. You know, possible access, you know, because for big fights, they have worked together. Possible access to Ryan Garcia. Um but Ryan Garcia is at 140, so take him out. He's saying he's not going back to 135. You know, possible access to William Cepeda, who's got, um, who is he fighting next? Jojo Diaz, right? Over on PBC, they got Tank Davis. You know, the rumored potential fight between him and Ryan Garcia um, at uh, in December. But they do got Tank Davis, Jezreel Corrales, who was supposed to fight Rayo. Rayo got sparked. Now you have um, Edgar, I mean, Edwin Santos, who's now in the mix over on PBC, Michelle Rivera, Roly Romero, Isaac Cruz. So PBC, clearly the clear winners for like most like top names at 135 pounds, I guess, depending on how you look at it. Matchroom has nothing at 135. It's just PBC and top rank. Matchroom, yeah, they don't have nothing at 135. Not even a sniff at anything. Nowhere. At 135. So, you know, adding Shakur to the to the to the mix, you know, and you know, they're not going to throw him in there tough for his first fight at 135. Let me see if I can find somebody who they'll probably throw him in there against. Him. Muratala. You know, it's going to be WBO. They won't do Nakathila again. They ain't going to do that. Interesting. Because basically the guys at 130 would be moving up to 135, right? So, you know, he could potentially be on his way, like, really to 140 for real, for real. Because Devin's definitely going to 140 eventually within the next, like, year or so. Lomachenko's the only one that probably will really stay at Ryan Garcia's gone. You know, Lomachenko, he ain't going to 140. So that seems like the fight they'll probably try to make. Yeah, Maritala is still a prospect. But yeah, they ain't going to do that for his first fight back. They ain't going to do that. I mean, for his first fight at 135, meaning Shakur. 
And I do that to uh, Maritala. So I'm guessing they would probably try to do Shakura versus Lomachenko if Lomachenko loses to Haney. Well, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Hold on, I was reading the chat. Yeah, I think Shakur Loma is going to be the fight that they build up for. Depending on how long um, uh, Devin Haney decides to stay at one. 35 after Cambosos, which I'm predicting who I'm predicting he's going to beat. But yeah, my man lost his belts on the scale. I didn't, um, Jermaine Ortiz versus Sha uh, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah, if he loses the Loma, there you go. There you go. You know, um, and I didn't mention uh, Shakur Stevenson versus like guys like Roly Romero because Roly Romero is PBC. I don't know. I'm going to start doing some investigations on um um a tank situation because I'm interested in what the hell's going on there because I do remember the accident. He had like a gold Lamborghini, the like the SUV from what I remember. I do remember that. Yeah, thanks for the super chat, Armando How Garcia, Shakur you? versus Jermaine Ortiz. I think that's the route they're going to go because Lomachenko was fighting um Jermaine Ortiz. When is that? October the 29th. Also. And then if Jermaine Ortiz loses, they're going to do him versus um, Shakur. Oh, don't be surprised if they pull out Richard Comey. You know, for Shakur. You don't be surprised they pull him out, you know, whose last fight was kind of a career saver draw against... Um, Jose Pedraza. Maybe Masayoshi, Masayoshi Nakatani. We're talking about his first fight at 135. Yeah, Loma and uh, Jermaine Ortiz is going to be on um, October the 29th. But anyway, let me get up out of here, guys. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow for the uh, morning for the weigh-in for uh, Joe Joyce and Joseph Parker. Then we're going to be streaming on fight night for the fight. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach through controversy with Fight View 360 and WBC channel powered by the Vive Network.